Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video, we're going to see about an interesting topic. And in fact, this is one of our question uh, from the yesterday's video where a subscriber has asked a question. And let me, in fact, I will take you through the question. Uh, so that will be more engaging. So if you can see the screen, um, uh, it is from Bhaskar Reddy. And he has asked a question that could you please do videos on how to run JMeter on Dockers and containers, and most of the interview JDs are expecting this from the job uh, seekers. So yeah, so this today we're going to see about that. So how to run a JMeter using a Docker image, and this will definitely help you to understand more about how the Docker works and how the JMeter works in terms of the uh, in terms of in, in in the perspective of the Docker. So this will definitely help you because most of the times, like uh, we have a script and we do not have a agent, or if we do not have a machine, we can uh, actually use this to run our tests using Docker. So again, um, let me uh, take you through the quick uh, overview on what are the advantages of running JMeter using Docker. So the first advantage is consistency and portability because Docker containers, we all know, uh, Docker containers provide a consistent environment across different systems, which ensure that JMeter tests run the same way regardless of the host machine. And this process make it easier to share and reproduce the test setup across the teams and environments. And the second part is easy setup and deployment. So by using Docker, we can eliminate the need for complex JMeter installations on each mission. So we can even simply pull a pre-configured JMeter Docker image and start running the test very quickly. So we don't need to do the installation part, the setup, the environment variables, this, that, and then the scalability. So Docker makes it easier to scale the JMeter test by allowing you to run multiple JMeter instances across different containers or missions. And this is particularly useful for distributed testing scenarios where you want to run your test using master and slave and then the version control because docker images can be versioned so that will allow you to maintain different versions of jmeter and its dependencies for different projects or testing requirements and then the isolation uh, docker containers provide isolation from the host system then that will prevent conflicts with other software or dependencies installed on the mission and then the cloud compatibility uh, docker's uh, Docker containers can be easily deployed to cloud environment, which facilitate the execution of JMeter tests in cloud-based infrastructure. And very, it's very simplified and it's more collaborative because Docker containers make it easier to share the JMeter test environment with remote teams or stakeholders, and that reduces the effort required for knowledge transfer and setup. And then the resource efficiency, that's the most effective and the uh, most required one. Uh, Docker containers are lightweight compared to the full virtual machines, which allows for more efficient use of system resources when running JMeter. You do not want an entire virtual machine. Instead, you can just use a simple uh, Docker right, to run the test. And then automation and CI-CD integration. So Docker's containers can be easily integrated into continuous integration and continuous deployment pipelines by enabling automated performance testing as part of the development process. So we're going to see how to run uh, the JMeter using Docker, using automated and CI-CD integration. So if you really want to watch that and if you want to get more quality content like this, please, please do join my channel and that will help me to create more quality content like this. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and uh, like the video and if you have any questions or feedback like this uh, like the one who has asked this so please do ask that if you have like any uh, questions that you want to uh, answer in your interview please do ask that as also in the uh, comment section or you can even join our whatsapp channel and then you can ask that question and please again i'm requesting you please do join my channel okay that will help me to create more quality content like this and in fact going forward i will uh, have separate set of videos like advanced level videos for only the members and that will be like viewed, uh, that can be viewed uh, very lately by the um, normal subscribers. So please do consider joining my channels and that will help me to uh, create more quality content like this. Yep. So with no further delay, let's go to the video. So the very first part here is we are going to see uh, first step. Uh, let me create a notepad. I'll, I'll just take you through the steps. And that will help you to even uh, keep a note on what you're doing. So the first step is here. Uh, I'm going to pull the JMeter docker image so how i'm going to pull it and for that let me uh let me go to my partial yep so here i'm on the partial command and then docker pull just b4 jmeter so this is uh, i mean in fact docker hub has several jmeter images available in fact we'll see one by one uh like what are all the n uh 
how can we use it effectively but this is one of the most commonly used so we'll use the just before uh, jmeter image as it's a popular choice so this is the first step so we're going to uh, do a pull command so by doing docker pull just before jmeter we are downloading uh, the docker into our machine and that's the very first step as i've told you and the second step is uh, we need to have a okay i think the first step is completed yes so we have got the latest one and then the second step is we need to uh, create a JMeter test plan. So I believe we, we all have a JMeter test plan ready with us in our mission. And I have one, uh, let me show you. Um, I have one created already, which I was uh, taking you through all my uh, demos. So going to the C drive and then, yep, and here, yeah, so this is the one which I'm going to use for this uh, testing uh, demo with you. And then the next step, so I have created. So the first step is done successfully. And then the second step is also completed. I have my mm, test plan ready. And then the third part is we are going to run the JMeter Docker container, right? So we do not have anything else. Like you just have your script ready. That's it. You, you're not running your test or anything. You're just having, I mean, again, like I would say, you can even have this uh, test plan at jmx like anywhere in the in the machine you do not want this complete jmeter uh, setup in your machine you can just have your file anywhere in your machine just even, even you can have it uh, randomly in your desktop as well or you can have it in uh, somewhere in a directory uh, in, in your network directory so that even is often enough for you to run this test right so let me uh, take you through the command to run this test and since we are running this using a uh, uh, Windows machine, so just follow this same rule of running your test. And let me take you through the command. Yep, I believe I have the command with me. So here is the third step, which is executing the load test using Docker. And here's the command, which is docker run minus r M. So let me explain you. So the first uh, three words, which is docker run minus rm, which is running a docker container and automatically remove it after it exits. And then we have the minus v, uh, which is the C drive. And then I have my uh, complete uh, folder structure. So if you can see here, it's the same thing, the same folder which I have until uh, the training June. So I'm having this same folder. Please make sure you do not have any spaces in between that. If you have any spaces, then you might face some issues with it. It won't be taking it as a single file. So please do avoid any spaces. You can add extra characters like minus or underscore. Just add that and avoid any spaces. And then this is the command. Uh, so I'm mounting the local directory C drive wasn't patchy jmeter 5.6.3 bin training June to the test directory. So that's what I'm having this colon slash test. So I'm uh, mounting my directory to the test inside the container. And then we have our uh, just before jmeter, which is the Docker image. And then I have the minus N minus T uh, the test test plan at JMX. So which is uh, where I have uh, like we are going to what you're going to do is like I'm going to take the file from here, uh, which is inside the mounted directory. And then I'm going to run this file, which is test plan dot JMX. If you see here, this is the file which I'm going to run. And then I'm going to uh, send this result to the test results dot JTL. Or if I do not want to have it, then I can even uh, have it in my local as well. So if I remove it, I can have it in my local. Let, let's try that. Okay, for now. So this is the command which you're going to run and let me copy this command and let's go to the partial and yep so i have started the test created user preference directory uh, created the test tree successfully using the uh, test plan dot jmx starting the standalone test at so we have started the test and then the uh, the test has successfully uh, completed so I just, it's just a very 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 basic one so that's the reason I don't find anything here. And let me open the, uh, we'll, we'll just see the uh, result. And before that, let's do a quick verification. Yep. So what we'll do is, um, let me open the JMeter so that we can see the results, like what did it, what did happen or like how did it run. And in fact, if we really want to make any changes also, we can do it so that you can uh, see a full, uh, execution of test so for now what we'll do is let me open the test file the test plan jmx i think that's not there yep it's because i have changed the file name so i'll go open 
let's plan to jmx and yes we have got the results and then in the view results tree okay let me uh okay i think we have all these and what is the third group okay this is the third group i think that has been executed so that's the reason it's like very uh, simple test so what we will do is um even we can try this one um uh what i'll do is let me enable okay uh, let me enable this one and enable and let's go back to the docker and let's run this so this will take a few time a few more time compared to the previous test uh, because that's like only one user and yeah so if you see here it's taking it's like running uh really and uh, you can see uh, there are some numbers that we're getting and the test is running yep so this is yeah the active is 52 and started as 52 and finished is zero so which is like the test is running now let's wait for a few seconds to get the test completed so this is how uh, you can use so for example like you can just you can just take your script anywhere through i mean towards anywhere in the world and then you can just use a docker image you don't want to worry you don't need to worry about um, uh, having your apache jmeter set up just install your docker image and you can run your test anywhere at any time and let's wait for a few more seconds to get the test gets completed yeah so now the test has completed successfully and we were able to see uh, the results are getting tidy up so let's go to the jmeter and let's open the results and see so i'm going to browse and then the results gtl yep so here you can see the test has executed successfully and we have got the expected results. so this is how um even even the jsr total the sampler that we have executed here even that has also got executed here and yeah so this is how you can run your jmeter test effectively using docker so tomorrow we'll see another interesting one uh which is running your jmeter using a container a completely into the container so you're not going to use your local setup you're just going to uh, take everything from container from docker so it's going to be completely into a docker world a container world i would say so for that please i'm again requesting you please take this as my kind request so please do join uh, my channel and uh, please do support me and um, thank you so much for watching this entire video and if you have any questions please do ask in the comment section or you can even uh, join my whatsapp channel and ask your question so until i meet you in our next video it's bye bye from us and your favorite little side youtube channel take care and bye bye